<laughs> hey everyone, I'm Dr. Zarker at the Animal Hospital of Statesville, and I'm here with Kyle today. Again. <laughs> <laughs> and we're answering more que questions about cat pregnancy, um, this time about cat labor and delivery. Okay, so how can I tell if my cat is in labor? So or is about to go that, into labor, <laughs> should I, I should say. So the first things you'll notice may be nesting. So she tries to go um, into a quiet area, make an area to have the, the kittens. So digging at blankets, laying down, getting comfortable, things like that. Closets. Closets. <laughs> Usually they're going to be out of the way areas because she's not going to want to have kittens in the middle of the living room where the dog runs by. Um, so somewhere out of the way it tends to be where they go. Uh, then after that you may start seeing um, contractions, you know, she's pushing and then eventually kittens coming out. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. <laughs> Does a cat have to go to the vet when she's in labor? Not necessarily. Uh, a lot of cats can have kittens at home um, without complication, but every once in a while, just like with people, there can be complications with labor. Um, if a kitten gets stuck or she's too tired or you know, a million other things that could come into play, the, then there may need to be veterinary intervention, um, you know, potentially C-section, things like that, to make sure that the kittens come out okay and, and mom makes it through. So that, in a way, answered the next question is, is it safe for my cat to ha give birth at home? And sometimes yes, sometimes no, but yeah. Yes, but watch. Um, right. And I think that's one of the other questions which I can kind of answer now. Uh, she should have a kitten within 30 minutes of actively pushing and about two hours between kittens. So if she's not pushing, she can take a little bit of a break, but about two hours would be what you'd be looking for. Um, so anything beyond those would be a red flag. Um, other things to watch for would be um, discharge coming out. So black discharge is not good. Um, and same with bleeding. Um, delivery in cats is not usually a bloody process. So if you're seeing like blood, um, then that may be a, a sign that there's, there's something we need to do. Back to the throwing a question at you. What if your cat's outside? Is there something you should provide for her that maybe she will use or not use? Like, do you need to pen so, her up or? Uh, yeah, if she's at the point and you only have some control over completely, you know, right. feral cats, but if it's a barn cat or something that you have a little bit of, um, you can try providing some blankets um, and uh, an area for her to, to have those kittens. Uh, I think that's also one of the other questions too is, is a nesting box, which is basically a, an area for her to nest and have the kittens. Um, for that, you just want blankets for everyone to basically be comfortable during the process and make sure it's in an out-of-the-way area um, again so that she feels safe enough to deliver the kittens and it's not anywhere trafficked. And so that's inside or outside whichever Kind of depends on the cat. If it's mm -hmm. you know a pet cat then that's fine that can be inside. If it's a feral cat that would lose its mind being inside um, then we have to work with what they let us do. And they may not let you do anything. They may take off and yep. have them and then bring everybody home to meet Grandma and Grandpa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so where should my cat give birth? And that, again, yeah, like we've done that. The, yeah. um, the nesting box in an out of the way place. And does my cat need human help during labor? And again, I think we touched on that. So not necessarily. Um, you should kind of be able to watch. I wouldn't I would be hesitant to be too involved in the process just because it can sometimes throw mom off. Um, but be actively watching because, the, like we talked about, those, those red flags, that may be a sign that you need to take her to an emergency veterinarian or, or us during, you know, if we're mm -hmm. open during the day. How long does cat labor actually take? So it depends on the number of kittens, which I think, again, is uh, down here. Um, so if we think she's pregnant and we can catch it in time, we can get an x-ray to know how many kittens there are. And that way you know at home how many to watch for. So if she's supposed to have six and you've had five, you know you should be waiting for one more, uh, which is important to know. <laughs> like sometimes you don't know when she's done. Um, so that that's part of what guides that process. Um, then cat labor on top of that depends on the number of kittens you have sure. because if you have that hour gap, you know, or hour or two between kittens that could span longer than if she's just pushing them out without any break. 
So I would say probably a couple of hours to maybe half a day, but sometime in that range, ultimately when depending things on- things get moving. Exactly, ultimately depending on um, how many kittens there are. So let's say your cat is outside and you know it's coming, but you don't know where your cat is. Are there signs to look for when you finally see them? Because you may not know how many cats yeah. there are or kittens there are, and you don't know yeah. how the process went. Is there anything you should look for on those cats? Um, so it can be hard in those cases because moms will those those moms will probably go hide and have the kittens. Um, they, you know, cats feel safe when they're hiding, and so they're not going to have the kittens out in the open. And so some outdoor cats especially will just hide and you just don't see them and then they come back with a couple, you know, week old kittens and that's the first thing you see. So uh, again, it kind of depends on how involved they let you be and, and um, what the situation is with that particular cat. But continue to provide them food, oh, uh, yeah. the kitten oh, food yeah. and everything that you know will kitten help food, with their give strength. Give them as much kitten food as they will eat um, because a nursing mama cat can literally not eat enough to compensate for how much, how, how many calories she's burning making milk. Mm -hmm. um, you literally cannot overfeed her during that period unless she is already heavy, in which case you can. Um, but still offering free choice um, kitten food for her to eat uh, to help work replenish those energy Plenty centers. of water and just a yeah. place to be and yeah. hopefully she'll come around and let you know that she's okay and as long as she looks healthy she's probably taking care of everybody just like she should. Yep. And what do I need to know or do once my cat has given birth? And I think we touched on that again is mm -hmm. um, making sure that she's got plenty of food and water and then um, let you know once the kittens hit about two weeks we start deworming them and then vaccines as they get older so um, if you've got a litter feel free to give us a call and, and we can kind of talk you through that process and um, get them started in that way. Mama usually gets them pretty well on the way I mean when should you start handling them to, as soon as mom lets you mm -hmm. just to as soon as mom adjust lets you, them to people. Uh, yeah, exactly. It help to help adjust them. Um, obviously, you want them to still be a cat and know they're a cat because um, that's important <laughs> for their socialization. But also exposing them to different things will help them be a little bit more well-rounded. So yeah. um, people and uh, you know introduce slowly, uh, especially if mom's nervous, to make sure everybody's comfortable. So will my cat naturally know how to take care of the kittens? So most do, um, and they will you know have the kitten and then and start um, like licking and cleaning the kitten and nursing and everything like that. Um, especially if it's a first time mom, she may, be, uh, she may not know 100%, so again, just watch. Um, if you feel like she's not doing things, then we may need to intervene. Um, and that would be, again, something to watch for. But for the most part, a lot of cats do know uh, what to do during the process and uh, we just help them along the way. Okay. So if you have any questions, as she said, give us a call. We're happy to answer those questions and give you some guidance on how to make it through these next six weeks after. Yep. All the fun kitten, kitten stuff. Kitten birth. Which I, we probably have, to have in other videos for uh, kind of the, the vaccines and whatnot. For, for and we kittens, do. Have, what, yeah. Just not getting this. it into this time. Nope. Nope. Stop here. <laughs> all right. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.